growing up here may seem easy compared to the wild. But there comes a time when every young animal at Chester has to face their fears. The penguin chicks must join the big pool tomorrow, alongside the 40 adult birds. Just have to learn to ride the gauntlet. It's like a kind of passage, I suppose, of growing up. It does harden them up for when they're older, because you don't want like a soft penguin that doesn't know what to do. It's, it's useless. It needs to be tough little nut. Ready? You don't look very ready. Go. But Squares is still lagging behind. Come on, Squares. Come on, Squares, have a go. Sometimes when we're teaching them to feed in the baby pool, you might find one that's a bit slower than all the rest. Go on, squares. Oh, oh, and he's in. Go on. It's there, underneath you. Square seems to be struggling a little bit at the moment. Now we're keeping an eye on him. He's just a bit slow on catching on, aren't you, squares? It's like most kids, there's always one in there. Not quite big pool standard yet. In the wild, it would be a case if you can't do it, you don't make it. But they will learn if you don't let them have a crack at it themselves. Ready or not, Squares will join the big pool tomorrow. Hey, little ones. Exciting, isn't it? Over on Penguin Island, it's graduation day for Squares and the others. We go out to the big world. You're going to see your uncles and the aunties and your mum and dads and your cousins and brothers and sisters. They're about to move on from the training area and face life in the adult pool. I think it's a bit of being scared and a bit of being excited. Now, you need to go through this big open gap. Yeah. Think you can manage that. Hopefully they'll go out there, smell the water, dive in. I'll be fine. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Come on. Don't turn around. To encourage their independence, the team are hoping the chicks will make their own way there. Go on. No, no, no. Go oh, left, go left. Squares, what are you doing? You find the fee will turn round and go back, so you have to sort of shove them, you know, off you go, like, like your little kid to school kind of thing, you know. Don't go and hide behind the gate. <laughs> they don't understand the process. Go on. <laughs> oh, no, he's gone the wrong way. We did have to sort of encourage them out, if that's the word to use. And go. Go. <laughs> you can't give up. It's part of your job to try and... Do the best you can for your animals. Right, let's just go for it. <laughs> After almost an hour, the keepers take matters into their own hands. And three. One, two, three, go! No! That way! <sighs> go on, Lynch. I'm just going to go shut the gate. Go on! <laughs> Oh, oh, Squares uh, went in first! <laughs> Yay! Well done, guys. Squares is the first to take the plunge. But the ordeal is far from over. It is a case of watching something small going into the big, wide world and fitting in well, hopefully. Native to the coastlines of Chile and Peru, male Humboldt penguins have been known to kill chicks. I think the main thing is to watch what everything else, everyone else is doing in the pool, and if anyone of the adults is a bit crabby, keep away from them. So we don't get pecked. Squares is first to summon up the courage to meet the grown-ups. <laughs> but he doesn't exactly receive a warm welcome. 
Munch tries to help out. But he's struggling to get up the rock. It's very daunting for the little chicks when they first go out there, because they're used to just being going around in a little gang of four. And then, of course, when they go in that big pool, there's 44 all together. So it's, it's a case of learning. The youngsters have to learn quick, and if they don't, they probably die. With squares on his own, and his friends now cornered by adults, just getting through their first day unscathed is not going to be easy.